Okay, welcome to the Monster Hunter tutorial on the weapon of choice today shall be the longsword or the wyvern blade as they call it here. Um, I think we're going to switch it up because last time I did a tutorial it was with the jaw blade and we used the rock steady mantle which kept me from taking damage. Today we're going to use the ghillie mantle. Which apparently conceals you from the enemy's view temporarily. The effects expire if you perform an attack or take damage. So basically I can hide, but I can't hide forever. So let's get this started. Wyvern Blade, you ready to get cracking on that quest? in all honesty, the is my favorite Great weapon. Great Jagras. The Great Jagras has yellow and green stripes and, and the gluttonous habit of I'll swallowing. Show you, I'll show you why in a second after I stock up on good. Now, like I said, you, with this you can have the option of getting food at most likely the beginning of every Monster Hunter mission. But, I guess like during an actual game, like old school Monster Hunter, it will depend on the actual stuff that you actually have you know the drill. gathered We've got instead to of them giving it, it to you. It before time runs out. Go over here to the chest. Always go to your chest, people. Grab that. Grab the rations. Alright. So, let's see if we can find this bad boy. Alright. Alright. So... Let's get into a nice open area so I can show you guys some of the moves Wyvern Blade has. So, now mind you, this is my favorite weapon in the game. The Basically, is it just, close -range weapon honestly, for it just looks like attacks. a giant katana to me. That's all I really to increase its get power. from a giant katana. So, we have the, as they call it, the step slash, or the overhead slash. Overhead. No, that's the overhead slash. Okay, so let's go. So step slash, overhead slash. You know they both look like overhead slash, so that's just me. But basically, one, two, three, four. Basically repeats. Now the reason I like this weapon is because it's so fast. It is like while it's out, of like the jaw blade, you can just go. Boom, boom, roll out the way. This is all triangle, mind you. These are all triangles. This is just triangle. I keep pressing triangle and this key does the same thing over and over. And I just, just draw out the way. Now, when you're fighting the bigger monsters, it's a good weapon because at the end of the day, you can get in, hit, hit, fight the new team with tackle, roll out the way, roll towards them, do whatever. You can do some combos with it. This, this. Ooh, see that? The jumping slash. Let me see what we can do. It's fading slash. What was that? Fading slash? I like how they, they changed the combos up so that way it's like. Well, you can do a little bit. What is what is a uh, spirit throw? Oh, that's that's R2 and triangle right there. So then we got the spirit. Your spirit blade is that little bar right under your health bar in the top left corner. Now. The spirit blade is something new. So it's like we do damage to a monster, the spirit blade goes up. See that? And then when it gets all the way up in the red, you can do things like this. Just keep pressing R2, 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 R2. And now see how I got that little, uh, like a silver lining around it? So now, when you charge your spirit blade up. Hold on, let me see if I can something. I was gonna be a victim. Oh man, little guy, I'm sorry, it might be you though. It might be you, little guy. Where your spirit blade is charged all the way up, you can do things like this. You do the dash, and you can hop up, helm splitter. That's pretty neat, honestly. So that was 
you, you, mind you, only you can only do that when you have that silver outline around it. It's basically you just draw it, you hold R2, you do the thrust, and then the option will come up to do Helmbreaker. But mind you, you can only do Helmbreaker when your sword under your weapon's sharpness is has a silver lining around it. That is the only time you can do Helmbreaker. And you know, obviously R2 for when you have your spirit blade. So let's see if I can find some more test dummies. So you got something else. You're oh, less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. All right, so you, if you see the the, the video I was I was putting out earlier, not what the video saying that I was going to do tutorial, I was fighting the same monster. And you see, this monster is pretty easy to fight because his moves are pretty uh, standard. See that? That was R2 and circle I just did. So it was like, what I did is I ran up into a triangle, rolled, foresight slash. So you can only do foresight slash after your initial attack. So it's like if I do a thrust. Foresight stash. It's be oh, it cost me. I don't want to take hits like that head on. So it's basically once again, as I said, a lot of the moves you can do only after you attack. See, the option that so foresight slash is basically a move that gets you out of dodge. So it's like attack R to a circle, go back up and do that. That's a knockover. So you know, because he's a smaller monster, he'll just knock him over. Spirit thrust. That spirit thrust. Is Triangle and R2. Now, mind you, you can do spirit thrust whenever you want to, because it just doesn't. You just, but you won't have the helm breaker until you see that silver lining. Now, as I'm saying, I'm putting R2. Now, to get the silver lining, something you don't know, you have to complete the entire combo on the monster. I don't think you can do that by just swinging in the air to get that silver lining. Now, you see? The monster's been immobilized. Oh. Helmbreaker, see? R2 triangle. Oh, I have no idea. This is this is something I didn't expect to happen. I did not expect this. I don't even know this other monster just caught me off guard. So let's see if we can do two for the price of one. He keeps spitting out this stuff, and I, I don't know. Are they? Oh, they're fighting each other, but he's so caught up with me. Oh, well, this is a unexpected turn. So, but apparently he's a poison. So he's poison. Now, once again, see the yellow bar? My weapon is not sharp. I can't use it. So I have to. That's one thing I think about the um, long sword loses its sharpness a whole lot quicker because you're doing a lot of quicker moves. So you gotta pay attention to that. That's why it's somewhat good to have the ghillie mantle because when you have the ghillie mantle, you can hide from whatever monster you want to. Oh, that's the environment. Some places in the environment just for some reason just catches, like keeps the monster in place. Like those bombs, they got right out of the line. Like I said, you gotta keep keep your moving. R2, R2, bang. Triangle, 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 R2. Wait, oh, I think I might get, actually get another move with Spirit Thrust. Hold on. Oh, oh, Helm, Helmbreaker. Now, Helmbreaker is weird because when you do Helmbreaker, Sometimes you don't even need to be directly on the monster, but once that line goes down, you automatically get the fire effect from it. So, let's see. Oh, that's his roar. Now he's going to fly away. And that's a Rathalos. Okay, cool. Now, let's see if I can find the monster I came here for. Oh, there go the great Jargus over here. So, now let's see if we can continue this, even though we were so rudely interrupted. So here, he, mind you, he's probably over here getting his health back. 
So, roll. See the roll? You can do that just mid swing. Like you're just swinging and boom, straight roll. As long as your roll, as long as your attack goes through, after every hit you can just roll. It it, it takes no time at all. R2, 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 Fair Blade, Fair Blade, Fair Roundhouse. Fair Roundhouse is usually what gives you that little sharpness under your under your um around your katana blade. Like, it gives you that little silver line. I don't know what that silver line is supposed to stand for, honestly, because this is the beta and they haven't given us any information on it. To be 100% truthful, I'm, I'm not gonna keep going after him because I feel like I'm about to kill him and I don't want the the tutorial to end just yet. I want to give you guys something quick, but I don't want it to be too short either. I want to feel like I touch everything on it, honestly. Like, the katana, like, the long sword, or the wyvern blade, whatever you want to call it, is my favorite weapon because it's, it's like, quick. It's It reminds me of samurais, obviously. And it has that little fire on it, too. But I think that's pretty neat. So, these. Now, you see this? I press circle on this, right? Well, if he was facing, it would blind him if he was facing me. That the monster, see this? When monsters run, they sleep. When they're asleep, they run to gain energy back. So now it's a lot of times out of 10, it's best, your best bet to constantly chase the monster down. Now, let's wake him up. Thrust. Wait, hold on. Thrust. Get up. Bang. Got him. That's why when you get the hell, entire helm breaker, that's exactly what happened. Just like that. Just like that. It's that easy. All right, you completed the quest. Congrats. So remember. See that? All these is trying to. R2 circle right here. R2 triangle. Well, I guess that's the end of this tutorial on the long sword. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section. Shoot me a like. Um, if you feel like I could have did anything better, please let me know. So that way we can, you know, my next tutorial videos that I make are better and more informative. So that way you can have any question that you need answered, you can have it answered. So, thank you guys. This is Pachi Pachi signing out.